Katie, how big is this game against Germany? The game against Germany tomorrow is going to be massive. Um, obviously, we've we've worked really hard during the week. It's been a long time since we've seen each other. Um, but we've put ourselves in a, in a great position. Obviously, we're sitting top of the group, but by no means are we going to take it easy. Like They're going to be a, a massive force. Um, they, they've been world champions. They've been European champions. Um, so it will be obviously a really, really difficult game, but I think we've prepared uh, really well this week. The campaign has gone really well for so far. And in March, had two back-to-back -back wins, and then COVID hit. And it was kind of a shame, wasn't it? Because you kind of had a little bit of momentum building up, like, but it is what it is. Yeah, no, absolutely. Obviously, uh, our last two games, obviously, were it was a win against um, Greece and Montenegro, which was fantastic for us, and it, it gives us that confidence as well. Um, but of course, like we know who we're up against. As I said, like world champions, European champions, they've got a, a massive squad. Um, so uh, by no means are we going to uh, take it lightly, um, but uh, now we're really looking forward to it. Is, is some of the girls are even at their own club and, and you've seen in, in the WSL, um, some of the girls are signing for Chelsea as well and uh, you can just see there's just star players all across our squad. Yeah, absolutely. They've got a, t a terrific squad. Um, Leonie Moyer, one of my teammates at Arsenal, I know what, what quality she has. Um, but obviously we look to ourselves, we look at how we prepare um, as best we can and, and what our game plan will be going in against them. Um, we've, we've got a lot of players doing really well. We've got obviously Denise coming back from America, playing the WSL and the Brighton girls getting a, a great result against Man City the weekend. So we've, we've got players really in, in good form given the circumstances of uh, obviously COVID-19. Um, so it's nice to see the girls getting back fit. Um, obviously had a good pre-season under their belt and as I said, we've worked really, really hard this week, but uh, yeah, now we're really looking forward to tomorrow. How was that period for you, the COVID period of training at home and you know being restricted, and, and now getting back into it now? Yeah, I mean, it was it was difficult for myself. Um, I had a, a lot of support um, from from Arsenal, from the club, and having different programs, getting kind of equipment um, sent out, and so for me, I was really lucky. Um, but for me, like the the real heroes of the last few months have obviously been the frontline workers. They've been fantastic. Um, obviously in Ireland and the HSC and the NHS in England, um, which is obviously where I'm really close to. Um, so now they've been fantastic, um, and obviously uh, we we salute to them. They've been uh, they've been the real heroes of obviously the last few months. I suppose th this whole period has made us appreciate those types of people a lot more. Hasn't it? Oh, absolutely. Um, y you need them. <laughs> we need them, um, and they've been fantastic. And. It just goes to show now, like obviously, hopefully we're we're getting through the 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 worst part of it. We're hoping there's no uh, second lockdown uh, coming, but um, obviously, as I said, we're just we're just really happy to be back in after those few months, um, with with good preseason, good fitness under our belts, and and ready to go. You use the word heroes when you're describing the frontline workers because, like, a lot of people would look up to you as being a hero and a role model, and 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 it's on it's only natural for sporting. Uh, you know, athletes to, to be seen in that context, but it does bring it back home when when you say hero of like really having an impact on people's lives. Like. No, for sure they've been fantastic. As I said, every single one of the frontline workers they've been uh, they've been lifesavers literally. Um, so for me, it's just expressing to those that we're grateful at the women's national team here for for all the work they've done. Is going back to football? Um, obviously. With Arsenal seasons back up and running, like do you feel that you have a bit of fitness now after a couple of games? Yeah, I mean it's been a long pre-season. Um, I feel like I've not trying stopped training since March. Um, but uh, no, it's it's been great. And um, we've been we've been back now since the start of July. Um, and obviously we had that first competitive game in um, in the Champions League against PSG. Obviously it didn't go our way. Um, it was obviously really difficult, but. Um, no, we've we've obviously done well then the last two games on the weekend for in the WSL. Um, so we've we've got a good start to the season, and um, we're just looking to continue that. Your role at club is slightly different sometimes to your role with the international team. How do you find that? Like, do you, do, you, do you enjoy kind of obviously throughout your career you've been more of an attacking player, but do you enjoy both aspects of it? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think the way we play at Arsenal, it's a very uh, fluid team. Uh, I think Joe likes his players to be quite versatile and. For me, um, obviously, kind of playing that left back, left wing back, left wing type of uh, type of role. I, I'm enjoying it. Um, I think with, with Arsenal, we're we're quite a dominant uh, team, and we always look to to play a high level of possession. 
um, and, and keep the ball. So I always find myself uh, up in and around the, the penalty box, which uh, I, I don't complain about. So now I'm really enjoying it. I love, I love playing for, for Arsenal Football Club. And for me, I just try to take that, um, any, any kind of confidence I have from, um, from training with Arsenal into obviously the national team and, and bring in that level of training um, and obviously get the best out of each and every one of the girls. There's been a, a little bit of a change in personnel with Arsenal over the past year since since Joe has come in. Um, there's a lot of different internationals. Do you, do you pick up different things from different internationals, like whether they're German or Dutch or Australian or whoever it might be? Yeah, for sure. Obviously, uh, a lot of <laughs> the different players, they've, they've got different ways. Uh, some would be more relaxed, some would be more intense. Um, me being Irish, I'm I'm very much uh, laid back, um, but now I like to I like to get stuck in on the pitch, and I think for me that's my kind of that's how I, I implement to the team and, and how I work and, and how I like to try and 100 percent and 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 like obviously work my hardest. So um, it is you, you admire obviously the the level of quality around you. Um, I, I'm lucky to to play with such world class players at Arsenal. Um, but I always love coming back here with, um, with Ireland and as I said, it's been a, a long time, back back March it was, um, since we last got together and getting getting everyone in and obviously getting that good camaraderie up during the week is, is fantastic. We had Ireland now, the, the facts are there for us to see, there's there's three games to go in the group, Germany twice and, and, and Ukraine in between. Um, while we're focusing on Germany at the moment, the Ukraine one next month in October is so important as well. Yeah, that's going to be massive. Obviously, we, we want to take each game as it comes and, and obviously that's what we've done um, through the rest of the group um, and, and obviously got to this stage, we're sitting top of the table, but Germany's going to be a, a massive, massive game. But we are looking to Ukraine um, next month, next October. Um, it will be massive for us um, to really implement that, that second spot um, within the group. Um, but we've basically three cup finals left now um, and we're going to be giving it our all. It's exciting, isn't it, to be at, at this kind of stage? Like we, it's, it's, it's kind of been rare for the Ireland women's team to be kind of up, up here at this age of the qualifying campaign. It just goes to show how the work the girls have put in, um, getting, getting fit, really challenging themselves, going and playing pro, in professional environments and in the last few years for sure it's been it's been evident on the pitch uh, we're getting results um, when we need it and um, we're not kind of conceding late on anymore like we're, we're really grinding it out and, and doing really well in that um, and that's just credit to obviously the staff and, and the players for for all the work they put in on the training grounds. It's obviously as you mentioned it's, it's, it's such a massive task going in against Germany you have to take that kind of confidence of what we've done so far in the campaign but the realism of who you're playing against as well? No, for sure. Uh, we want to be realistic going in. Uh, we're, we're playing against uh, two-time world champions and I think eight-time European champions. Um, as I said, the, the level of quality within their team is is massive um, but the work obviously we've put in this week on the pitch, um, hopefully we'll, get, um, we'll give them a good go tomorrow.